Um, <laughs> this is a bad setup, but essentially what happened tonight was it's Mother's Day and um, we booked a restaurant. We go to the restaurant, we do... I've got two kids, seven and four, and um, they tend to, especially with dinners, it can be a bit stressful, overstimulation, they... They want, they want to behave and they do a very good job of being wonderful children, grandchildren. But I, my mom also likes things to be like super perfect. And so oftentimes we'll get to these places, she'll be like, make sure you eat. And, and this is constant, you know, like constant, like, you know, make sure you eat, make sure you do this, make sure you do that, sit down properly, don't do that. And that's just her style. That's the style I grew up with growing up. And, and so for them, it can feel like, you know, don't do this, but also don't embarrass me. And and I'm painting, I don't intend to paint a negative light. It's just a lot. That's really the takeaway. It can be a lot. And so what we've learned over time is we'll, <laughs> we'll make sure that they nap before these dinners. Uh, so we had a two hour nap today. Uh, we make sure that anything that can cause uh, stress or cause um, frustration for our kids, we, we try and get them out of the way. So. With my son, it's homework. So usually it's, you know, let's finish all our homework before we go. So that when you're there, you're not feeling the sense of like, oh, but I haven't done something today. And kids are like that. They they, they feel they feel the backlog the way we feel the backlog. You know, as grown-ups, we will, if you, do, if you don't finish your work, you come home, you're thinking about it. You don't know you're thinking about it until someone asks you, hey, what's up? You know, something on your mind. And kids, the worst part is you ask them what's on your mind, they won't be able to tell you, but their bodies tell you. Um, and you can sense the restlessness. Um, and so we got homework done with my daughter. It's usually needing a nap, having a snack, having some like TV time to kind of just enjoy, enjoy something on her own. You know, I think that's pretty reasonable. We're not talking many hours, just like a half an hour, just let her kind of watch her own thing, make her own choices. Moments of autonomy, if you will. Anyways, we've done all of that. We get to dinner and dinner is amazing. Like they're, they're so well behaved. Um, at the start, when the food takes a while to come, my son goes, oh, I'm feeling bored. And I go, it's okay, let's go outside. So we go out for a walk um, and he immediately goes, I want to play rainbow cars. And so we spend all this time trying to spot, you know, a red car, a green car, a yellow car, orange car, blue car, green car. The last one's purple and he spots the purple car. So he wins let you win because if i didn't let you win well there's no guarantee that if i if i didn't let him win that if i didn't let him win that dinner would have been ruined that you know it would have been a yeah but i let him win because i want my i like i like the odds in my favor so we go back in food's amazing we finish everything um we even go out and repark our cars because it's an hour parking and the restaurant is 15 minutes north north west from my house just for context and then we repark our cars thinking we're going to stay there for a bit. And we realize that there isn't any like dessert that we want to eat in this Chinese restaurant. And then so my mom goes, I quite like the shaved ice from that place in the there. And she goes, it's actually in Glen Waverley, which is even further from our house. And I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. It's early, you know, it's seven o'clock. We started dinner at 5.30, let's go. So we get in the car, we drive. Um, and for those of you who, those of the, those of you who are parents, you know that, in those moments, you're not thinking, you're just going with the flow. If, if it's as long as the evening is flowing, you're happy. Just go with it. Go with it. You know, everyone's having a good time. Go with it. Don't think of the logistics. Just go with it, right? The kids don't look like they're restless. They don't look like they're they are tired. They've had their nap. Just go with it, okay? So we get in the car. Jen, Jen and I get in the car. We start driving. And about five minutes into our journey, I look at her and I go, are we driving away from home? When was the last time we drove away from home? And she looked at me. Before we had kids. <laughs> so we drove, so without driving, another 15 minutes away from home. So essentially to get from that, and then to get to get from that place back home is like 25 minutes back, right? So we're driving away from home and it's feeling exciting. It's like, sheesh, we haven't done this in so long. Well, my son is seven. So since seven years ago, we've never, we've always been like, if there's dinner and there's home, and there's a place we want to get to, make it in between somehow. This was, and not only is it away from home, those of you who live in Melbourne, you know, Glen Waverley on a Saturday night, it's like, nobody does that with kids because it's busy and it's 
it's just packed, but we 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 are hopeful because this is this is how good this night is going. We, we get we get there, and as I'm turning into the the middle parking, uh, the open air middle parking area, this is about seven thirty now. I say to her, "We're probably not going to get parking." And we circle for a bit, and as we're leaving, she goes, "Why did you turn in if you knew you when if you knew you weren't going to get parking?" I said, "I said probably." <laughs> I didn't say absolutely, I said probably. <laughs> and so we circle and we go to the next we go to the next spot um, where there was parking and I get a call from my mom going, Yeah, we're we're, we're turning back. The traffic's crazy, we're not gonna we're not gonna get a park, screw it, we're, we're, we're gonna go back. <laughs> and as we and as we and then we we ultimately end back at my parents' place, which is closer to our home. The kids have ice cream, uh, we have if you know a bit of a debrief, and then we call it a night. And I'm still just, I'm still just chuckling at the fact that the night was so good that we went away from home. Let me know in the comments if you if you've done this or if you would experience the same exhilaration that we experienced in the car doing this really simple thing, which is kind of a a signal of how much life changes after you have kids, um, and it changes. It's not like it's not like you lose things, you know, it's, you just don't do certain things anymore because you do all these other things that are like super wholesome. You hang out with parents, you go camping with other parents from school, you make different friends, you talk about different things. <laughs> well, yeah, let me know. Would, would you have been as excited as I was in the car? It's like, ooh, we're doing something we haven't done in a long time. Anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, you've asked, you asked for vlogs and, um, this was too good to wait to be edited and to be shared later. So apologies for no no B-roll, apologies for no visual context. I hope the description was good enough to paint the picture of the night that I've had and why I've got this smile on my face, this really silly smile on my face. <laughs> to all the mums who subscribe to this channel and who are part of our community, happy Mother's Day. You do an amazing job. You do more than you sign up for. Um, Every good mom I've met does more than they thought they would ever do. And they always do it with such grace and such perseverance, such generosity. Um, there's a reason why, you know, when someone says there's nothing like a mother's love, nobody disagrees because it's, uh, it's known f since the beginning of time. A mother's love is strong it persists, it's dependable. Um, so thank you for loving us. Thank you for nurturing us. Thank you for holding society together. Thank you for raising wonderful children. Thank you for doing your best, whatever that might be. And if you've lost a mother recently, and this weekend is particularly hard for you, a quote I came across recently is that grief is love with nowhere to go. Focus on the loving memory part and use this weekend to celebrate the life of your amazing mother. Peace.